Lily? Oh, hey, Joe, I'm in here. Oh. Okay. Lily Singh. What's going on? I better not be throwing a wrench into your upload schedule with the 73 question interview. Come on, not at all. You're welcome anytime. What did I stumble upon you doing right at the second? Oh, I was just practicing for a video. And what's the next video you're going to make? If job interviews were honest. And this is the room where you shoot most of your videos? Sometimes. I mean, I shoot everywhere in my house. But you know what? Let me show you. Let's go. How do you come up with your video ideas? Ooh, I pay attention to the world and the people in it. Check this out, by the way. So official. Nice. How do you describe your humor? Feel good, relatable, and smart, I hope. Uh, what's the funniest thing in the world? Oh, memes. <laughs> what's one thing that you need every morning? Positive self-talk. What are three things that you cannot live without? Music, good hugs, and buttery popcorn. What does it feel like to have more subscribers than there are people in half the countries in the world? I mean, I have 13 million subscribers, which is like 26 million eyes that give me a chance every day, so I'd say I'm pretty fortunate. Can you tweet something to all of them right now? Yeah, sure. <laughs> How did you start your channel? Oh, I started in 2010 when I was a not-so-happy person, and making videos made me happy, so I thought, let's do more of that. Makes sense. What's one thing you would still bet most people don't know about you? Ugh, I can't run or jump. Like, ever. <laughs> you have more than two billion views. What's the key to a successful video? I think the key to a successful video is how you define success. I'd say just try to do something you enjoy. And sent. What'd you tweet? I said, there's a guy in my house who's following me around. Heart eye emoji. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal with this art behind you? Oh, this one? I love it. I know, I just believe that everyone should feel like they can be their own superhero. You know, especially young kids. Why do you call yourself Superwoman? Because when I was growing up, calling myself Superwoman really helped me through some tough times. If you actually did have a superpower, what would it be? To pause time so I could take a nap sometimes. Let's come here. You are from Toronto. Mm -hmm. What do you miss most about Canada? Timmy's, Tim Hortons, for sure. <laughs> now you're living in LA. Can you describe LA in three words? Sunny, amusing, and gluten free. Wait, is that four? Four so words? Well, maybe have a hyphen in it, but okay. it's okay. <laughs> All right, what meal will we most likely find you cooking in this kitchen? Uh, Katie mac and cheese, that 99 cent box, delicious. <laughs> What's your favorite type of cuisine? Let me show you. Sure. Boom! That is a lot of Skittles. I mean, it's one or two. Oh, and that's a lot of famous people right there. Oh, yeah. and look what I noticed, Mr. Will Smith. <sighs> right there. <laughs> what was it like collabing with Mr. Will Smith? You know, it's so awesome when you meet someone that's so talented, but they're also just a really good person. You're mm. like, where do you exist? How do you exist? Mm. Uh, what was it like interviewing Michelle Obama? Oh, right there. I mean, we sang Beyonce together. True story. Yeah. No big deal. And what's the real deal with Cardi B? Cardi B, <laughs> my girl right there. Conversation with me and Cardi. Yo, Cardi, you dripping in finesse? And she's like, OK, done dash money. You inspire so many people. Who are the people that inspire you in life? Oh, so many. Uh, but definitely my mom, mm -hmm. Selena Gomez, and The Rock. In fact, let me show you something upstairs. OK. Now, can you describe yourself in a hashtag? Hashtag blessed. Hey, Joe, can yeah. you ask me if I can catch a skittle in my mouth? Can you catch a skittle in your mouth? Yes. There's your documentary right there. Mm -hmm. Unicorn Island. Where did Unicorn Island come from, anyway? Unicorn Island is a synonym for my happy place. So a trip to Unicorn Island is my documentary that traveled me, traveled me, followed me as I traveled across the world. Skittles <laughs> in the mouth, you know. What causes are important to you, Lily? <sighs> Education for kids, women's rights, and of course, spreading girl love. And uh, what's your spirit animal? A unicorn, obviously, oh, I was just like one. Come so on. obvious. And what's your spirit emoji? Praying hands. You know, I know people think this is a high five, but it's praying hands. Don't add me on it. Now, your pals with a handful of 73 question alums, mm -hmm. how do you describe Liza Koshy, Gina Rodriguez, and your Fahrenheit 451 co star, Michael B. Jordan? Mm, okay, Liza's funny, Gina is compassionate, and Michael is so charming. All right, now, what is this shooting room for? Oh, this is my writing room. So I write here, I shoot sometimes, and every once in a while I impersonate my parents. Can you show me an impersonation? Right now? Uh, okay. Uh, uh -huh. Here. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> and? Oi, do you want the 74 questions, huh? Ask Lily when she's going to get bloody married, okay? <laughs> if my mom was here. <laughs> what are your parents really like in person? <sighs> my parents are the best. They're so supportive. They're super cool. And my mom knows all of Drake's lyrics. What did they... <laughs> That's weird. What did they think of you wanting to be a rapper when uh, you were younger? Oh, what did my Indian parents think of me when I was younger and wanted to be a rapper? Oh, yeah, they were really proud. <laughs> can you rap while verifying the following claims made about you? Uh, uh, yeah, I can try it. Uh, okay, this is a uh, that's flow. Take one. 
This wasn't planned at all. All right, here we go. Lily hates taking a selfie. Okay, uh, false. If we meet, I don't mind if a selfie is taken, but I do prefer a genuine conversation. Lily hates tomatoes. It's true, I do hate tomatoes, but if it's in ketchup, that's okay, though. And Lily loves the Carlton dance. You know I can do the Carlton dance. I don't got two left feet. If you don't believe me, Joe, drop a beat. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, are you not gonna flow with me? Oh, I would never try to rap. Oh, I'm gonna get you to flow. <laughs> okay, what was your favorite city you visited on your tour? Uh, definitely Singapore. Uh, what's the most adventurous thing you've ever done in your entire life? Mm, when I was in Kenya, I went on a really cool safari. Okay, if you could collaborate with anyone, living or dead, who would it be? Definitely Bob Marley. Uh, speaking of which, Three Little Birds, favorite song on my wall right Very there. Very nice. But check this out. Okay. So I was telling you about, Fang got this for me. Little wow, Dwayne. you really do like Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> How'd you know, from the doll? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, what is Dwayne really like in person? So down to earth. You could just feel his work ethic and he's just everything you hope your role model would be. Did he give you any advice when he met you? Yeah, so much. Uh, he said, no one can take care of you the way you can take care of you, so make sure you take care of yourself. That's very nice. So, how has fame changed you? I think fame has taught me that I have a purpose that's much larger than myself, you know? Is there a downside to all this fame? There's a downside to everything. I think everything is a double-edged sword. And how does one stay humble? Do anything. You have good role models. That's true. What do you always keep in your closet? Oh, well, let me show you. It's right over here. Okay. Ah, oh, check this out. Nice closet. I love motivational slogans. On sweaters, hustle harder all day, every day. <laughs> What's a trend you hope doesn't go out of style? A trend I hope? Oh, denim, Canadian tuxedo. I'm all for it. What does beauty mean to you? Honestly, beauty means individuality. Do you think that it's humanly possible for you to describe yourself in three words only. Funky, bows, tomboy. Why did you name your lipstick bows? I think you're scared to say it, it's bows. You're nailing it. Uh, it makes you feel bold and it makes a statement. Now you wrote a book, How to Be a Bows. Killing it once again, I did. <laughs> and in your book, you talked openly about your struggle with depression. How hard was it to open up about that? I mean, yeah, it, it was definitely difficult and of course uncomfortable, but I think there comes a point when you realize that what you're doing is positively impacting so many people, so you decide that's worth it. All right. Should we go back downstairs? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So what are you reading right now? Oh, all the movie scripts for all the auditions. What's on your music playlist? Soka, all day, every day. Uh, what are you binging on Netflix these days? The end of the effing world. So, it's so good. It is good. It's, it's so really good. good. What actress would you play in a movie? Selena Gomez, I hope. What actress would you want to play you in a movie? Ah. Uh, Emma Watson, that would be amazing. I tripped over the thought of it. How do you deal with the haters? I just hope they find happiness. Nice. Oh, but check this out. Okay. Dwayne gave me this tequila for my birthday. Dwayne I mean, Johnson. Awesome. Casual, whatever. Man. It's casual, it's casual. Okay, what would you like to be remembered for? I want to be remembered for how I make people feel. What's your biggest fear in life? That I'm gonna stay the same. What advice would you give your younger self? Stop trying to figure everything out because you're not gonna. And what do you give as advice to yourself right now? Uh, if it's considered growth, then it can't be considered failure. What is your message to all the millennials out there watching this video? Don't just hope and pray for your dreams, work hard for them. All right, now I'm gonna ask the next question to this special guest right here. Okay, cool. okay. It's your mother, okay. Lily's mom. <coughs> Can you do your best impression of your daughter? What up, everyone? It's your girl, a super girl. Identical. And I like to oh, make yeah, fun of my that. mommy and daddy yes. oh, because yeah. I am yes. a dumb head, even though Lily, they do everything. Bye, mom. Thanks. That was great. Thanks. <laughs> if you ran YouTube for a day, what would you do? Oh, definitely ban clickbait titles and thumbnails. What are your favorite comments to receive? The ones that say you inspire me to work hard. I love those. Sweet. You launched a social media campaign, hashtag girl love, a few years ago. Why'd you start that? I just want young girls to feel like they don't need to fight with one another growing up, you know? I want them to understand that we're stronger together. What's the most controversial thing that you've ever said? That I'm a feminist. Why is that controversial? Because a lot of people don't know what the word feminist means. They think feminist means man-hating, but that's not true. It just means that if you're a feminist, you're not a sexist. Do you have any regrets? I do. I regret all the time I spent regretting things. I would regret it if you didn't show me a secret talent in this video. Do you think uh, you could do that for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Do you see this? Yeah. It's a very sharp needle. It might look like it's not there, but it's there. Oh, it's, it's really sharp. Okay, I'm gonna put a string through uh -huh. it, just like that. Yep. And now I'm gonna put it through my lip. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, it's very graphic, I know, I'm sorry. I'm gonna tie it to my lip, the string, and now. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Sign me! Sign me! <laughs> Can I ask you one more question? <clears throat> Lily sing, I gotta go, and I know you're like, oh no, but last cue I'm gonna throw is what you think about my flow. Mmm, dang, 
job. That's good. I'm going to leave it on that. That was fire. That was the last question anyway. <laughs> Thank Lily. you so, so much. Oh, this is great. You're welcome anytime. All right. See you later. Bye.